Hi Travel Bees, interested in seeing my trip to Yellowstone National Park? Better stay tuned! This video is number 13 in my Adventure Loop series of me traveling out west in the USA in September of 2020. Stay tuned for the adventure and if you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. Let's check it out. Guys, I just visited Yellowstone National Park and it is amazing. Highly recommend. Check out my video. I'm turning into Yellowstone now. Thirty-five dollars to enter. It's kind of a lot of money, but. Good morning, good and you. Good. Thank you. Is there anything you recommend definitely seeing? Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, I got my stuff. Thirty-five dollars is kind of a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Um, to enter a park. There's like literally nowhere to pull over to like look at this stuff. Oh, that's kind of nice. The pink map. That's what I needed. Old Faithful Mammoth Hot Springs. You know I gotta go to Grand Pris Prismatic. I think that's how you say it. Alright, so it's 14 miles just to get to the first point. Alright, so we're driving through Yellowstone. This is from the west entrance by Idaho Falls. So I'm not quite sure what it looks like once we get in there, obviously, because I've never been here before. But I was definitely expecting it to be flatter. I don't know why. I was just thinking geysers and that it would be really flat. I mean, I'm sure it is flat where they are. I mean, I don't know. But like, this is pretty mountainous. You guys are on the journey with me, so we'll have to see. It looks like it's pretty gorgeous. We'll see how it is. I'm hitting some Yellowstone traffic. But pretty, there's a lot of broken trees around. It looks like the majority of the smoke is gone. I don't know if that is smoke or fog. Oh guys, the holdup is because of animals. And it does look like the smoke is clearing up, so that's nice. So far, Yellowstone National Park has become, is more mountainous than I expected it to be. I don't know why I just expected it to be like more deserty and like, I don't know, but 
it's pretty nice. I'm digging it. It's pretty gorgeous and lots of active wildlife here too. So that's good. Really nice. hot. Not too bad though. We're out here in Yellowstone. It's pretty cool. Or should I say it's pretty hot because mm. of the hot springs, hot geysers. Woo! Pretty gorgeous out here. It's 46 degrees outside but the geysers are really hot, so it's really cool. I don't know if there's any that you can actually swim in. I wish. I wouldn't be um, opposed to getting in one of those hot springs, but I have a feeling you're not allowed to swim in that. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. So this is more what I expected, this kind of plain look. Wow, look at all those hot springs. These are called the fountain pots. Definitely has an irony smell or rust smell. Looks so cool. Probably one of the coolest parks I've been to. I'm just it's so blue, it's so pretty, it's so unique. So this is a bit more what I expected in regards to flat plain land, but I love that it's surrounded by mountains and it's just truly unique. It's really cool. If you guys haven't been here, you gotta come. here. It's kind of insane. Thank you. 
So I just experienced Old Faithful, and it seems as though I had asked someone, and they said that apparently Old Faithful goes off every hour and a half or something like that. Around every hour and a half. Not on the dot, but... So I was really lucky. I got parking pretty close by that I thought I was going to be really far from the parking because everybody was parked on the other side. But my parking ended up being perfect even though there was a lot of people. Then walked up and there was pretty much like the people were sitting down so it was like easy for me to just get a good video of the whole thing and like I think five minutes after I was there it just started blowing up. So that was actually pretty cool. It wasn't as pretty as Grand Prismatic or some of the other pools that I've seen, but it was cool to see it like shooting up a shooting geyser. So, Old Faithful was faithful yet again. Let's see if anything else catches my eye on the way out of Yellowstone. But those two are the must-sees that I was suggested. So I did check those out as well as some other things that caught my eye along the way, as you guys saw. Yellowstone is truly very unique. I didn't expect any of this. I expected the geysers and such like that, but I just, I didn't expect the colors to be so vibrant and just truly gorgeous. I, I thought it was extremely cool. And just seeing the different patterns and the wildlife here, definitely, definitely a unique park that I would happily visit again. Really, really cool and a beautiful drive throughout here. So the smoke from the west um, didn't follow as much here. There is a little bit of a haze, but not anything very extreme. Everything's still pretty clear that you can see, so it's not affecting any of the sights or anything. But then again, all the sights are kind of right up front and personal with you. It's a little bit different when you're encountering smoke in the mountains. If you guys are watching this video and you haven't seen my other videos on Utah, Idaho, Montana, go check those out as well as Colorado. I've got a lot of different content from my adventure loop. It's been an amazing trip with amazing views. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell because I do post new videos every Sunday. We'll see if there's anything else for Yellowstone to show us been a treat so far. Look at how cool this is. Truly a unique park. Look at all of this. Landscape. Just stopped randomly and saw this beautiful lake so I decided to stop. Yellowstone is pretty gorgeous. Look at all these Christmas trees. I just want it to be Christmas. Perfect place to have lunch. Just stop at this little place. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now I'm having an apple with some peanut butter. <sighs> it's a perfect moment to end my visit to Yellowstone. this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I do post new videos every week but if you did enjoy this you're gonna want to check out the other videos I have in this series which I'm going to link right here and then you guys can enjoy living vicariously through me and hopefully get a little inspired to go on this type of trip yourself I'll see you guys over there bye for now